Welcome back to the Gdańsk Shipyard. And today we are heading along to Ulitsa Electrical and immersing ourselves in heavy metal. Welcome to Ulitsa Electrical or Electrician Street. This is where all the electricians used to wire up ship parts in these assembly halls. And now that the industry is kind of defunct, all these venues are now repurposed, revitalized as entertainment venues. A lot of big outdoor events are held here uh, at Elektrikov. Uh, right now it's Mystic Festival, heavy metal festival that happens annually in Gdańsk. There are others, hip hop dancey events, sound drive, slam fest, summer solstice, uh, other art events. But I think we can agree that a post-industrial shipyard is a quite a fitting venue for a heavy metal festival. The biggest music venue space on Elektrikov is V90. In its new revitalized form, V90 has been acoustically treated. You can see all the soft panels all along the ceilings and uh, some on the walls too. So the sound in V90 is, well in my opinion anyway, excellent. Um, two bars downstairs and there's one behind me up top and of course big seating area up top, so it's a great spot to watch the band down below. And of course, if you look closely, you'll find some relics from a bygone age. Uh, for example, right behind me here, there's a, an old lifting mechanism in front of the bar, up the top. There's a weight limit sign over here. And then all these railings and balustrades here, up top. And just behind this bar on the backspace, on the left side of, of the wall, this used to be the entry to the old smoking area for B90, uh, but due to popular demand, they had to turn it into a live music space. So this is now Drizzly Grizzly. As we go in here, you'll see it's a much tighter space, smaller stage. That means they can put on smaller bands uh, when, when the time comes. As with B90, nicely acoustically treated up top, and uh, of course, plenty of seating on the side. And there is our Grizzly. Back outside, oof, I'm overexposed. Heading back up from Drizzly Grizzly and V90, on the left, just here, we have Food Squat. So this big double level space they've turned into the eating area, Food Squat. On the first floor, we have two bar spaces. We've got one up the back there, Distance, and then we've got this wine bar kind of thing in the corner, which is kind of schmick. The other cool thing about Food Squat is that you can open up the doors and bring in food trucks. So here we have Wombush, which does like Middle Eastern food. El Cartel is a Gdańsk uh, mini franchise. They do Mexican, very good, I should say. Kavni Cantina, I think in Gdynia and Gdańsk, do burgers. Uh, Niem Jensna is a very popular vegan uh, restaurant. Alga and also Ogiem i Piacem, who do pizza, very good pizza, from Gdynia. So I'm happy to say that the Tri-City is quite well represented today in terms of gastro. And as always, if you look very closely, you will see lots of little industrial touches from the days of shipbuilding. For example, this carriage on rails. Uh, there's another winch and hook there. Can you see that? And it's been nicely decked out with uh, plants and light bulbs just the way we like it. And around the corner from Food Squat, we have Plein Air to 33. Plein Air is another open air space, outdoor with more open seating area. I'm not used to seeing it in this way. Most of the time this place is a DJ, hip hop, dance music venue, and the kids love it. But today it's a little bit different. Nevertheless, it serves a purpose. Aside from the assembly halls that have been revitalized, there's also a bunch of container bars behind me. They open up when there's something going on here. On the other side, they've turned it into an outdoor stage for this particular event. And then there's a big scaffolding seating area further on, so. I'm not sure if um, this place actually has an official name, but I'm gonna call it Three Monkeys. And uh, Three Monkeys, uh, is basically just a bunch of scaffolding. Secure, of course, 
uh, with deck chairs and hammocks and the like. And uh, up on the very top level, there's actually a really nice view of the cranes, the shipyard cranes. Not a bad setup. I have a great view right here of the cranes. I'm gonna switch around. You know, they could have turned these all into apartments or even just knocked them down and built high rises and stuff, but no, it's a historic area, it's important. And you may as well turn it into a cultural space because it's much better served. So my friends, Ulitsa Elektrikov and many other places that we visit in this video series can be found in our premium city guide from Gdansk in your pocket. If you're visiting Gdansk and you want a copy, head to the link and be happy. In the meantime, we will continue our adventure through the Gdansk shipyards in our next video. Until then, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can join the Gdansk In Your Pocket community on Instagram and Facebook. Do zobaczenia!